Hello and welcome back to my Direwolf 21.6 mod pack tutorial series. So I've done a bit of mining and I haven't found anything too interesting, mostly just some more ores, but um, I did find plenty of lapis. I found a dungeon room with some mossy stone, which um, I didn't realize, but there actually is a machine in thermal expansion that can turn stone maybe a cobblestone into mossy stone. So I actually didn't need to go find it, I could have made it, but um, that's okay, I did find some. I also can tell you what happens to your knapsack when you die now, because I found tons and tons and tons of cave spider spawners. So your knapsack falls off, all your items fall off with it, so you know, if you get back fast enough, and I've got a cave base, so I was okay, but uh, you get back fast enough, you're fine, you don't. Uh, uh. You don't. Okay, so if we take nine mossy stone and put them in here, we get a ball of moss from Tinker's Construct. Ball of moss, if we consult our Tinker's Construct books, the red book, in the modifiers section, we will see that moss gives us auto repair. The tool slowly repairs itself. Sunlight speed up the process. This is generally a pretty good thing to have on a pickaxe because you're, unless you're constantly mining, which you're almost never doing, um, this should keep up okay with a pickaxe. As I said before, you don't want it on a lumber axe, you don't want it on um, excavators, hammers, things you're going to use over and over and over in a short time because auto repair just can't keep up with that. We'll have some better methods for doing that later. So, ball of moss and we get moss. As you can see, my durability is already down 1,200, but uh, we're okay. And we've got one modifier remaining. That last modifier we're going to use to put lapis on there. Lapis gives us fortune. So we can do 9 lapis or 10. So let's see here. That should be every 150. It looks like it'll be one level of fortune. So... If we look at it in here, we can see it's got luck. But we don't have fortune yet. We put the luck on it, but we don't have fortune yet. So there's actually no actual, I don't think there's any actual fortune on this yet. Let's see if we can get it closer see what we get. So we can take it to 80, 90, 100, 110. Okay, now you can see it's got fortune 1. So I guess it wasn't exactly 150, but I know once you get to the full 2 or 450, you will get fortune 3. So that's 169. I think that's all my lapis. Yeah, that's all my lapis. So I can't put any more on here, but now my pick will mine better so I can get more when I find it. So I'm going to go back into the mining area and uh, see if I can find some more. And I'm still hoping to find something more interesting down there in the chest, but um, I haven't found anything useful yet. So I'll be back once I've done some more mining. Hopefully I can get Lapis fully on there. And, um, and we'll be back then. Okay, I'm back from mining. I did not find anything too interesting in the mine shaft. It was just the standard ores and gems, whatnot. So I was hoping to find some ender lily seeds in a treasure chest, but I did not find any. Oh well, we will have to get ender pearls the old fashioned way by killing endermen. I found a few, which um, is going to help something else I want to do. Um, there, I've got a lot of chests over here, and it's starting to get confusing what's in what and where I find things and where I put things. I'm getting a lot of just miscellaneous stuff. I've got some Tinker's Construct stuff I don't really need anymore, some broken tools. I don't know what saltpeter is used for, but I've got tons of this stuff. I've found some gold armor from enemies I've killed, so there's a lot of junk in here and a lot of things I don't know what to do with right now, so we're gonna build a 
preliminary sorting system. Now eventually we'll get into applied energistics which I think is the best way to store items but I'm not quite there yet so um, oh, uh, extra utilities added a few things which are very handy and also there's some stuff from factorization we can use so let's start with factorization which is factorization barrels and to make a barrel you need wood not planks but wood and a slab that gets you a barrel and you have to use the same kind of slab as the kind of wood. I cannot use an oak slab with jungle wood barrels. I'm not quite sure why, but um, there it is. So we're going to make four of those. Two, three, four. And what these do is they store a single item. And I know you're probably thinking a single item isn't that useful, but actually it can be because what we're going to do with them is store our heaviest items. We can store 64 stacks of whatever you want to put in here. So if we get uh, cobblestone, let me get some more cobblestone. So two stacks, three stacks three stacks plus ten and you can left click to get a stack out so they're pretty handy for storing things that you need just that you have just tons of lying around in fact I might make one for that saltpeter in fact but we'll look into that later the second thing we want to do is I want to build a sorting system from extra utilities using sorting pipes and transfer nodes and all kinds of other things they have. So it's not expensive, but it does require an ender pearl. So I needed one of those. But other than that, it's pretty cheap to build. So what we need are some transfer pipes. This is what's going to help us move things along the system. So for that, we need stone slabs, glass, and redstone. I'm going to need some more stone slabs. So I'll make that many for now. I need some more smooth stone, I think. And transfer pipes. Three stone slabs on the top and bottom, glass and redstone, and we get 32 of these transfer pipes. So like I said, it's not an expensive system. That's okay. It's not very fast, so you know, it's. I, I still think it's a bit balanced. It's a good early game sorting system. Does not require power either. In addition to transfer pipes, we're going to need sorting pipes. And there are two kinds of sorting pipes, a sorting pipe and a mod sorting pipe. The sorting pipe is great in that if you put it next to a chest and it goes along the extra utilities piping system, it will only put an item in that chest if it's already in there. So if you already have gold ingots and gold ore and, you know, mining type stuff in a chest, it will only put those mining type things that you already have in there. So it's a great way to keep things sorted and you don't have to tell it exactly what you want in there. You have already told it by having some things in there. So again, we need slabs, glass, and gold this time, and that'll get us eight. And I actually need nine for what I've done, so we'll have to make 16. We need three transfer pipes, but I already have 32 of those. We need a transfer node. A transfer node is the thing that brings items out of an inventory and puts them into the system. So we're going to use a transfer node for items. This is where our ender pearl comes in. We need any kind of pipe will do. A chest, some smooth stone and some redstone. So what did it use for the pipe? Use a transfer pipe, that's fine. And we get actually two of these for that. So that's nice. I don't need two of them, I only need one, but that's fine. And I do want one mod sorting pipe. And the mod sorting pipe is nice in that anything, it's like a sorting pipe, but it will put anything into that chest from the same mod. So we actually are going to have a Thomcraft chest because there's a lot of specific Thomcraft things that we're going to, 
you know, keep around for a while. I'm not ready to get into Thomcraft yet either, but when I am, we'll have a chest for it. And I've already mined a bunch of stuff from Thomcraft that I don't know what to do with right now. It just, there's no place to put it. Uh, it's cluttering up my ores chest, so we'll put it in the Thomcraft chest. So, a mod sorting pipe. That's why I needed one more. A sorting pipe and two pieces of redstone will get us a mod sorting pipe. Okay, so there's all the things for our system. We needed the transfer node, the transfer pipes, sorting pipes, and the mod sorting pipe. So, as you can see, I put chests all on the wall here, and I put signs up here. At the end of the line, you want to have a miscellaneous chest for just random things. And I've got so much random stuff right now, I'm going to upgrade that iron chest to a gold chest. So, how do we make a gold upgrade? Gold chest upgrade. Iron to gold chest upgrade is eight pieces of gold around a piece of iron. I don't have any iron. Let's see here. Mining, is it in there? Alright. So, there we go. An iron to gold chest upgrade. And you can see it's got this many inventory slots right now. Double chest, 9 times 6, so 54 items right now. I upgrade that, and now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's a full chest more. It's not a quadruple chest, but it's, you know, more. A diamond chest might be a quadruple chest, but uh, I don't want to waste diamonds right now. Alright, so what do we do with these things? I'm going to put the piping under the chests. So the first thing we need to do is put this transfer node for items. And then we're going to put the... I might need to break that block. Okay, the transfer pipe. Yeah, I don't need to break it. Okay, I don't know why I couldn't place that before, but... Alright, and now we want to use our sorting pipes. Sorting pipe, sorting pipe. We can use a transfer pipe along the edge here. And then we need sorting pipe, sorting pipe, sorting pipe, sorting pipe. Where are we? That's our Thomcraft chest. And... <laughs> I've got my water over there in the bad place. Alright, hang on, let me fix the water. Alright, I'm going to have to move that in a minute. Because I need the chest to go all the way over there. I didn't think about that. Okay, so at the end of the line, we do not want a sorting pipe. We need to have just a transfer pipe so that at the end of the line, whatever goes in there, goes in there. And the last, the next to last chest is my Thomcraft chest, so there's my mod sorting pipe. The rest of it is just sorting pipes. So there we are. Here is our extra utilities simple sorting system. Now, does it actually work? Well, let's find out. What should happen is we put things in the sorting chest and they go to the other places. What do we have that we could sort? Well, I've got some redstone on me. Redstone belongs in the, in the mining chest. Or it would if there any redstone in there. So let's put one piece of redstone in there and put the redstone in here and see if it finds its way out. I don't know if you saw that, but as you can see, things are already moving along. They're not instantaneous, but they're pretty quick. And look, all the redstone's in here. It didn't go to the food and farming chest. It didn't go to the wood chest. But we do have... No, I guess we don't. Alright, we should have had jungle wood planks in there, but apparently I used them all. So, jungle wood planks. Where'd they end up? Hey, there's two there now. Of course there are, because that's what our sorting system says. What about the Thomcraft chest? We do not have any entropy shards in here. I made sure of that when I made this chest. But, it's got a mod sorting pipe. 
So, assuming I can find the entropy shards that I shoved in here somewhere. Ah, here we go. These should make their way to the Thomcraft chest. And you can see they did. There were no entropy shards in here, but now there are. And the reason is because we used a mod sorting pipe. Now, at the end of the line, we get the miscellaneous. Whatever we haven't sorted yet. I think I've done a reasonable job putting everything in here, except I had to break my chest along the walls that sorted my, my inventory and my uh, Tinker's Construct stuff. I've, I've taken some of that out right now. I made the room bigger. I should have... Well... I need a more place to put stuff in, so I put stuff here for now, so... Let's see about things I don't have sorted. So, like this... These frozen combs from... From forestry. Let's put those in there. Where are they gonna end up? They should end up in the miscellaneous chest because there's no other place for them. And they did. It took a second, but there they are. So there we go, a sorting system from Extra Utilities. It's pretty nice, it's a good starting system, you know, for good early game sorting. And I will now know exactly where all my stuff is. And I don't have to think about what chest I put it in when I come back from my... I don't have to go to the ores chest and the wood chest and, you know, whatever else I have. I'm going to dump everything into the sorting chest and it will pull it out and go into wherever it needs to go. That's really handy. So, what about these barrels from factorization? Can we sort those? Yes, we can sort those. I had a little bit of a... I wasn't sure I was going to put these because this is kind of a bad spot, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and sleep the night away. And uh, one second to do that. Mm, my favorite glitch, the the betting glitch. Oh no, what is it doing? I usually click because it's... F oh, my bed is broke. Alright, move the bed. I don't know why it does that. Usually if you go back into the bed, it stops doing that hopping thing and you can go back to sleep. But uh, sometimes the answer is no. Oh, and I have enemies out there, and I don't know where my sword is. Ah, there we go. There's my sword. So, uh, he sounds like he's dead anyway. Oh, but he's not dead. Alright, let's get rid of you. Alright. So, we're going to need transfer pipes. And they have to go in kind of a, a weird up and down pattern, which I don't like. I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to think about how this is going to work before I can do this. So give me a minute. I'll come back and figure out how we're going to put the barrels in here. Okay, so I did manage to get the barrels placed. Um, we are running a bit high on time, though. I like to keep the episodes to about 20 minutes. We're at 18 right now, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up for now. Um, when we come back next time, I will show you how I made the barrels, which took a bit of work. And uh, we will also get into Forge Micro Blocks, which is a replacement for the Red Power Micro Blocks, which I first saw in Rendog's Feed the Beast series for 147, which had Red Power. And it was just fantastic. I thought it was awesome. And I, I just, I was so sad that I couldn't do this. And now we have Forge Micro Blocks and you can do them. And maybe you won't care about this, but um, I know for the look of it, it doesn't look like I care about the looks of things. I've got dirt and cobblestone and smooth stone and I don't clean up too much. But um, I do care about the look. And at some point I will work on making things look better. I'm... I will someday get out of this hole in the wall, but um, it hasn't been a priority yet. Um, so when I come back next time, Forge Micro Box and the rest of the sorting system and uh, probably some other things. Catch you next time.